This video is going to go over proportional and non-proportional relationships. We're going to look at three different scenarios. We're going to look at tables, graphs, and equations. When you open up this first flap, um, the label was called a table um, for this section. We're going to fill in these blanks. When you have a table, we are going to be looking to see if the table has a constant rate of change. So I'm going to zoom in just a little bit closer so it's easier for me to write. It needs a constant rate of change. Um, it could also be called a constant of proportionality. Those mean the same thing. And then at the bottom, another way to say this um, using a division problem, it's going to be y divided by x. It could also look like this. y divided by x or you could simply just say y divided by x this way. Okay, I'm going to scoot up to this first table and what we're looking for is every row in the table when I take the y number and I divide it by the x number I need to get the same answer every time. I must get the same. Okay, must get the same amount. Okay, when I do y divided by x, y divided by x. So I'm going to scoot up in this upper portion because I have more room to write. This first row, it is 30 divided by 2. So that's going to be my first one. I could have, whoops, I need the pen. 30 divided by 2. Um, I know exactly that that's 15, so I'm just going to divide it out one time. So the number I'm looking for is 15. Okay, the next pairing in the table is 90 and 8. So I need to divide these two numbers and see what I get. 90 divided by 8. And when I do this one, up at the top, 90 divided by 8. Well, I know 8 times 11 is 88. And then I have a 2 remainder. Already, I can tell that these two, these are not the same. So that tells me that this table right here is not proportional. And I'm going to put it right here. Not proportional. Wow, that looks pretty messy, doesn't it? Let me erase a little bit of that not proportional and it's not proportional because up here at the top when I did my dividing from the table I got a 15 and I got an 11 no these are not the same so it's not proportional I don't even have to do this last row because I already know that these don't match okay I could come back down here and put that this one got a 15 and this one got an 11, so they don't match. But just by looking at them up here, my division problem, I already can see. Okay, I'm going to scoot over and zoom in on this second table. Again, I'm looking to see if they're the same. And I'm looking for y divided by x. So this first pairing, 1 divided by 5. So 1 goes inside the box, 1 divided by 5. So that doesn't work, so I'm going to have to put a decimal, 1.0. Now it kind of looks like a 10 
5 works with 10 two times, and that's a perfect match. Okay, so the first number I got is 0.2. Okay, I could come down and put this next to it if I wanted to. The second pairing in my table, when I look over here, is 8 is the Y number divided by 40. 8 divided by 40. I'm going to see what I get on that one. 8 divided by 40. And again, that doesn't work, so I'm going to put a decimal and a zero. Put my decimal with my answer. I know that two groups of 40 is 80, so I'm going to put a two, and that's a perfect match. When I look at these two, they do match. So I need to check this last row in my table and make sure that it's also point two. Um, I can put that down here that I got point two. The last, the last section, whoops. I have 13 divided by 65. So I can make 13 divided by 65. Um, I will tell you guys that two groups of 65 is 130. I checked it. A perfect match. So my third number, I still got. Yes, they all matched every single time with 0.2. So then this table is proportional because every time there was the same constant rate of change. When I looked at the relationship in the table and I divided, I got 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2. So again, I had a constant of proportionality or I had a constant rate of change. Okay, graphs are way, 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 way easier. Um, I'm gonna zoom in and write on the line the first thing that I'm going to look for is the graph must be a linear graph, which basically means it makes a straight line. That's the number one thing you need to look for. If you say yes, that it makes a straight line, then the second thing you need to look for is the graph must go through the origin. And the origin is where zero, zero is in the corner. Um, right here. That's what we're looking for second. Okay, so these are our two things we're looking for. This is what you're going to check. Check number one, it's a straight line. Check number two, it touches the origin. So when I look up at this first graph, um, number one, it's straight. But, uh, number two, it does not go through the origin. That is a no. So this one would be not proportional because it does not go through the origin. Okay, that was the, the thing that got it wrong. Let's scoot over to the second graph. Number one, it is straight, so that's good. Number two, does it touch the origin? Yes, it does touch the origin. Um, I actually circled it right there. Um, so this one, we would say yes, this is proportional. So graphs, mega easy. All you have to do is use your eyes and look for these two things. Is it straight and touch the origin? Okay, an equation, um, just about as easy as a graph. The equation has to be written in a specific format. The equation must be written in this format. Something equals two numbers being multiplied together. Only multiplication. Um, I'm going to put a star, and I'm going to say that there can be no addition. or subtraction. 
all you can see is multiplication. It's the only thing you have to look for. So when I look up here at this first equation that's over on the left, and I put something equals, and I'm looking for the multiplication part, which is right here, that matches up, but there's an extra thing right here in the middle. Um, because this is extra, that means this is not proportional. As easy as that. Not a proportional equation because this means it would not touch zero, zero. It would not touch the origin of the graph if this was a picture. Okay, scooting over to the second one. If I line it up and say something equals a multiplication problem, that is all I see. There's no extra thing being added or subtracted. Um, so this one is proportional. It has nothing extra. It matches up. That means since there's nothing extra, it would really touch the origin of zero, zero in a graph. 